inflammation. When the lining of digestive tract is inflamed, the food that actually was broken down will have a difficult time to get through the wall and into digestive tract. So you cannot be sure that this food or those nutrients will be delivered in the, in the, in the cell. As a result, long-term inflammation contributes further to malnutrition. Let's look, let's look actually what happened on the molecular or on the cellular level and a clinical picture of that. So the nutrients supposed to be delivered and cells supposed to build out of these nutrients. I will explain you an example of a cellular wall. It's made out of lipid bilayer. Bilayer means by two. This is the one, this is the second. This is the one and this is the second. So two layers. Uh, lipid means fat, so it means that the cellular membrane is made out of two layers of fat. And there are two kinds of fat or two kinds of fat that come into our digestive tract from the food that we eat. One is good, and we know about that, everybody is talking, you have to know, omega-3. And the other is not so good, or I called bad fat comes from animal sources animal sources the lipid bilayer has a ratio that it's built out of good fat about 70 percent of that is good fat and about 30 percent of that is bad fat once when you do not break down the food in the digestive tract and do not absorb as a result this food what happened you violate the ratio of the fat not all fat becomes available so the ratio is violated as a result your cellular membrane does not look that nice it's built out of fat that's available and ratio is violated in real life it translates into cellular instability which means at some point or at any insult that cell could be broken and dies look what happened if this cell is actually a lining of the blood vessel so this is the blood vessel and this is the cell okay cells that lining blood vessel here they are this is the nucleus of the cell and this is the cellular membrane so all of that is cellular membrane. If this membrane is broken, so the cell is broken, what happened? Blood starts to leak out of the blood vessel into environment. So that means cardiovascular event. In real life, cardiovascular event, if the blood starts to leak out of the blood vessel, if it's hard, it's a heart attack. If it's brain, it's a stroke. So you cannot afford the unstable cell. You cannot afford when the ratio is violated. Okay? Also, the cell membrane conducts the impulses that come to the cell through hormones and translate them into the nucleus. If the cell membrane is uh, not that nice what happened impulse comes in and the impulse become distorted distorted impulse means incorrect message incorrect message may be read by nucleus and by um, our DNA that it will tell start to reproduce and start to reproduce faster that translates in real life more reproduction by definition is cancer doctors I know about all of this possible side effect so does the FDA so that's why you uh, see warning on the label of PPIs 
the warning states that prescription medications cannot be given more than four to eight weeks. Occasionally, prescription medication could be given for one year. Over-the-counter medication, over-the-counter, should not be taken more than 14 days, three times per year. If you violate these rules, those rules, you create a problem or many problems down the road. That's why I am so adamant to explain and to teach you to that make sure that you understand what is your cause of acid reflux and to make sure that you get appropriate treatment according to your cause.